Hello, and welcome back to Project Ozone 3 Mythic Mode. This is Episode 7, and let's get right into it. There's a lot that I've done, and uh, it's pretty good, uh, pretty exciting stuff here for uh, advancement. I noticed that I, I put this on here just to test. I wanted to get the numerical status, and it ended up just being a bar, but that actually did help. See how that's a red bar right there on there, on the drawer? Well, I noticed you get iron from sifting from... I think almost everything, and I had to make another iron, and if you shift, sneak, right click on a drawer like this, it'll show you this uh, interface for the drawer, and I had to put these, I'll probably end up having to put a bunch of more uh, upgrades in here to get, you just end up with so much iron, I'm going to have to find uses for the iron. Um, I mentioned an igniter for, oh, don't look over there. This is to, instead of the fire starter is actually cheaper to make I think igniter igniter not igniter igniter the recipe for this very cheap just one piece of steel versus the fire starter let's see uh, block placer. Oh, then you get into all this. So it's not, if you have the steel, go that route. Otherwise, you can do a fire starter. Either way, uh, might be easier to make the fire starter than the block of steel at first. So, yeah. And I, I thought maybe the igniter would do something different, but I couldn't get it to work and make any other difference. I still had to do uh, this setup just like that. So you may have noticed uh, we have a new um, clean area over here, and I finally did the stuff with the wood. And I have a new crushing facility, a uh, pulverizer facility as well. So let's go take a look at those. Well, you can see how we're expanding upward. I didn't want to go outward because then you got to walk there versus um, just making this. I put this as a little bit of decoration around here. You can just stand here and go up. So I did that. And this is where we started. I moved the wood production into here. So this is wood and dirt and coal. This whole room does wood, dirt, and coal. So let's take a look how it starts off. It also produces the cobblestone as well. Just three of the regular basic ones provide enough stuff. And I could always upgrade these to tier two or expand it. You know, I could put some right in front of it. So the um, the production of this stuff is, is really easy. And these machines are kind of loud on my end, but I assume options. They're not too loud on your end. I'll just turn it down a little bit so I can hear myself think. They're still pretty loud. <laughs> I wonder what that is. But it must be these things. All right. So this is the cobblestone. Goes into here. This is like a buffer. And then it gets put into... It drawn out of here into our ender chest. And I've been working towards moving everything to an ender chest situation where... Each ender chest is color coded, and what you do is you see those three little dots on top of it. You get a piece of dye, and you decide, okay, this is going to be my cobblestone. And it looks like it's actually coming out of here too slow, so let's fix that right now before we forget it. See how this this is actually being used up, and it's going ahead. It's not this is not keeping up with it. This rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right over here. And we're going to fix it. We're going to grab that. And we're going to grab... We're going to have the big one. Um, not the biggest one, but there's another... I, I have been able to make the next level up, which is... I had a choice between this one... Is it the exact same? Let's see. 3x speed bonus. 5. Yeah. This is actually... I, I skipped ahead of the Signalum and went for this. And it looks to be better. Extraction rate 200%. Yeah, this is better than this. And uh, I did make one of those. And it has quite a few filter spot locations on it. So let's go up here. You just right click right here with nothing else. Pops right off. Right click right there again. And then with an empty hand, right click it. And turn it on. 
and that will be sending out quite a bit more. Let's see if it's getting ahead. Now it's getting ahead of the game, and that was way more than double, like a um, quadruple or something. So, cobblestone taken care of. I made these little um, aluminum wall mounts with the stone torches just to mix things up. I wish um, we had those feral lanterns that spread light everywhere and not had to do light. And it just lights a pain to take care of. Should probably move this one over one too. So then you've seen this before where we do the bonsai tree and I did, um, I can expand, I left some room to expand it and or because these are just oak. So drops down in there, gets sucked into this machine, gets taken out of all those. So these are a little buffer overflows for all these, just in case. Puts right in here. And the reason I have two um, on here, because it doubles the rate, um, it actually pulls out twice, this one and this one. You just have to remember if you want to work on the system and you want to turn it off, you got to turn off both. And it only has this many um, filter slots as well. But that way you're getting, you know, it really takes a lot of stuff out of here. Especially if we end up uh, increasing the size of this thing um, and getting more variety, it's going to ne need, you know, it might even need a third one coming out of here. Or move it up and get a fourth. You can do, you could withdraw from all five, five sides with one input and then get a lot of stuff in there. I went back and forth on this. The filter, filtration, etc. what I wanted to save, what I wanted to keep and everything, and um, we'll shift right click just for an example. What this does is it puts it in, this is nearest first, just like this. It'll put the cocoa beans right in here, and once we get up to a certain set amount, uh, looks like that's not even close yet, it'll just fill that up and then it'll start voiding them hopefully and not plug up the system. This is all for the future. See how I locked all those things? So it's filling these up as well. This is full already. That's full. And it's just working on these. And they're void upgrades. Now the thing is, the weird thing is, I have got spruce trees in this container. So there's a little bit of a weirdness going on where if this says nearest first, it really should put it in there. And this should have been filled up. And I should have never got a spruce in here and yet I did because if I look in here with a right click there's a spruce tree so somehow it's getting past all these things um, I might need to do like um, like individual little filters oh uh, like right somewhere filter only X amount of things that get past here I, I don't know um, but it should have done that. And I noticed that with the loot system as well. It's, it's not working correctly. Um, I mean, that really should have gone in there and yet it still got through, but that's okay. It's okay. It's not backing up the system with wood, this oak wood. I wanted more than just 512 of, uh, the wood. And it looks like I'm not saving that other wood. Oh yeah. I'm saving it right here. Let's see if it's actually working though. No, it's not. So I might might actually do a, a situation where I save each wood type as well and just put those in there because I'm saving big, big stacks of these. 12.8K, I think it's, I think it might be maxed out now. So this is where I decide how much to save. And then once it goes into an overflow situation, those are voided too. Huh. I'm going to have to take these out. There shouldn't be a void in here. It should max out. And once it's full, then it should let them go on. So let's do that. So there's a lot of thinking that goes into this to get it just perfectly right. But you want to have stuff stay saved, but then once they're full, it should go on its way. So this is like where you're saving the stuff on its way and then put it in there. So this kind of stuff should probably go... Not this way. Yeah, it should. I have to do some work on this to make it like that. All right. So that'll be on a things to do list. Then we come to the final overflow. Once we have all the stuff that's not saved correctly, we go in here. And what I've done is what I've choose to do is 
Yeah, even this doesn't really make sense. Well, it's overflowed. It's Yeah, I'm going to have to put sticks over here and then draw out sticks on overflow. Yeah, that's what I, that's really what I'm going to have to do. But then here's a little bit of a conundrum. The overflow should be after the usage. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm getting wrong. So this box should actually be over here as an overflow or like a garbage can at the very end if it doesn't go in here and here. So these, these are powered by, getting a little bit off track here, but not really. These are powered, I've decided to use these ender furnaces which cook the, the wood only. Um, the sticks go in there and they come in, they, they get put in through the back and the wood goes in there up and into this and cooked into and taken out the bottom into this thing we've got tons of charcoal and we've got charcoal going in here as well um now this thing how is it getting oh because it's pulling out of there and if this fills up then this takes the overflow you know what i mean if it's if this is like a little buffer before that goes there, but no voids. Um, will this be an issue? It could be an issue if we get too many and it'll back up the system. So backing up and clogging up the system is always the, the concern. So what I should be doing is voiding stuff after the final usage spot. So if this is all full and this is all full and it's still pulling out of here, then there should be, if it can't go in here, and this is full, yeah, I have to work that out smoothly, because I don't want to void, you know, I don't want to, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It pulls out of there, and then, I just don't know. I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> but uh, one of the ways around that is just keep on putting upgrades in these things to, you know, just let them stack up forever. Or just turn the system off if it's, you know, I've got too much charcoal, just turn off the charcoal over here and let the sticks burn up. So that might be the easier way to go. But all this, it's built for future expansion. Um, it's got a bunch of oak trees and we're in better shape here. Um, except I should be saving that wood just in case I want to start using it for anything. And by doing that, I put it over here in the save spot. And then we'll go from there. So that's it. That. The apples come out the, uh, this, I had made a resonant servo. And to do that, that was, it was kind of neat, actually. I said, oh, serve. I said, okay, I, I needed more spaces. Okay. Uh, what is that? 15? It's kind of an odd way to do it. I guess bit-wise, it's two bits, so that's uh, 8, 16. And then zero counts as one. Here we go. How do you make... So I said, okay, you take a regular servo. Oh, that's interesting. So you can upgrade any servo. I didn't realize that. I don't have to, like, put... I was always putting it on the next lower level, but I could just put a... In DRMing, on a regular servo, that'll save a little bit of electrum, but okay. Got to remember that. And you get one of these resident servos. Well, how do you get... What's the recipe for this? I looked through here and I said, oh, what about a casting table? Okay. Molten Ethereum. What's the recipe for that? And is there, a, is there a casting table? How do you get the Molten Ethereum? Right there. Right there. I said, okay, let's see if I can make this. Lead and platinum, not a problem. Oh, how do I make the... Enderium resonant bucket recipe for that. And I said, okay, uh, what about resident ender? Not enderium, but ender. And it's melting in, not a magma crucible, but in one of the, in a regular smeltery. You melt the um, these down, and then you can get the, I, I just put it in my porcelain thing, and I took a bucket over there and just right clicked on the front of it, and then I got a bucket, mixed it up as a blend, melted it down into, cooked it up into an ingot, and then I had the resonant servos that way. So I'll probably be making 
a few more of those. Quite a few more of those, actually. And it's just nice to ha I know I'm going to need them, the resident servos, for future stuff. So, good shape there. The apples and everything, all that kind of stuff comes over here. And what you can do is, if you can look up there, see how it's orange on top of the ender chest right there? It goes orange, white, white. That system, if you open up, I don't know if you can see it. See right there in the way back, right over there, if you peek over there, how these ender chests, see that's open? And then it closes, opens, and it closes way back there. You can barely see it. You can kind of get a better view of it right here. Here's um, a gray, white, white, coated. See how it opens that one? Because these are both charcoal chests. So it opens every charcoal chest on your server, which if that is coated with gray, white, white. And that's how you move stuff around, and, uh, you know, it's just easy to do. Charcoal, wherever you need charcoal, you open that up. Wherever you need cobblestone, you have cobblestone, just by plopping that down. And in this case, we needed to up, upgrade our, uh, our our system to make sure it's there. And then this should be filling up, and if it's not, I'll extend, I'll extend it. So this... Um, I wanted to, app I wanted to, I think we have overflow, we don't have overflow apples anywhere. That's another thing that I have to work on. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Um, anyways, all this stuff comes out of here, goes in, I noticed that just putting the regular system in like this didn't work as well as having um, hoppers on here. So if it feeds into a hopper, it seemed to work smoother. So um, that was a little bit odd, even though this is a uh, round robin. Oh, nearest first. Oh, it goes in there first. And then there. Hmm. What about... Let me think here. Maybe it shouldn't be pulling there this out, but then this pulls out of here. Is this round rob... That's round robin. So then it distributes it in there. And that goes into nearest first, so it should go into there. Very interesting. Don't know what's going on here, but again, we'll figure it out. But that's only once it starts getting clogged up. So once it gets clogged up, you have an, a problem, but we're so far down the line from clogged up. We'll be in good shape. Um, and that's all to get the dirt. <laughs> only 888, but that's our dirt production. So this room takes care of all of that. So if you need to make anything like this, this is the way to go, and you should be in good shape. But if you guys find a better way or a different way, just go ahead and let me know. I'm not opposed to trying do uh, things differently like that. But I like this room. Having that charcoal allowed me to do this. Um, I was able to move this over, and now it's just a nice cleaner look. Um, the charcoal comes out, gets fed into these machines. The power goes in to that. Over here, I got rid of the... Um, I changed to... An ender chest, the the cobblestone ender chest, and it just feeds right into this one thing that powers this plenty of lava there. And there are there is a machine called a compactor, because you could do it this way. Let's see. I haven't used one of these. They're easier to make. Compactor. Is that it? No, it's like a weird little machine. Not that one. Compact. Compact chew. Um, I saw somebody else use it in a form. That one right there. It's just to call it a compactor. It looks like it's specifically made for this pack, but I don't know. Let's find out. I'm going to push A over this just to move it over here so it's on my list. And if you don't want it on this shortcut list, you can always move it off. But I, I want to kind of be reminded about what, why that is. Pretty easy to make. Easier to make than um, those those uh, simple crafter things, I think. But I want to see what the difference is. So I will probably make one of these and plop it down here as a reminder or back over by my base. But um, it looks like 
these might be simpler to use than what I went with. But I mean, this is a working system. But if it's if there's some way I can do it, or maybe they use power too. So I don't know. I know this has it uses that uh, infinity grain seed, so it's definitely I would say harder ish to make. Even though the igniter is pretty easy as well, that takes steel. So yeah, th this is harder to make. So you might want to go with a compactor if it does the same thing and maybe power is not an issue. So um, we'll look at that. So this runs its system. I think it's working smoothly. Let's see. Yep. That little glitch where I had to pull from the bottom, it just worked on a few of them, then it just never showed up again. The excess, instead of me having to run over here and get it out of the, um, you know, the final thing that it doesn't have all the stuff that ends up in here, um, it's part of a new system, and what's the color on that? Oh, triple yellow I decided to use, which is just dandelion turned into dye, and then I make it a triple yellow thing. That gets sent over there, so I don't have to walk over here anymore. Over here, gets pumped in, pumped in up there. I think this is still working along, so I might need a third one of these, a third pulverizer to... um pulverize all this stuff up faster, but I'm in pretty good shape with the basic uh, metals and stuff like that. And then it's put drawn out, and it's pulled into the the one one red system. And that's about done over here. And then this just makes my, um, oops, makes my uh, blaze rods. So let's go take a look at that. So this all this whole system is pulled out and pulled over this way now. Here's the loot, triple triple yellow loot system, and it has overflow for three, so it doesn't get backed up in case I do a lot of sieving. So the sieving is gone. You know, I don't have to touch as much stuff. I don't have to walk as far, all that kind of stuff. Here's a charcoal thing that I put down and I'll probably put somewhere. I just popped that down. I didn't want it in my inventory or anything. I also went along with this. I put some stairs here so you could peek down and still see the drawer controller. And then I've got access, instead of having to re reach in here and pull out all the different things, I've got access to all of these, uh, which is really nice. And I might put a, an upgraded um, one of these status upgrades on here as well so that I can see how full each one is. That would be a kind of a nice extra little bonus thing. Um, so I've got all the bronze. I've got all those things. Certain things um, only require, like there's only a use, let's say Electrum. Um, there might be only Electrum plates and Electrum gears are not used at all in the pack. Well, then I won't make Electrum gears. But these things are used by a lot of stuff uh, or a lot of recipes. So I just have those as easy access. Over here, um, I'm still doing, oh, this is the red and it gets pumped into this which is nice. And let's go put this stuff away. Just to get off. Pop that up there. Nice. We've got a whole list of things. I probably should move that down, but this is the stuff that I use more rarely. This is the stuff I use quite a bit. Pop that in there. There's the Enderium. And we're in good shape. We'll pop that up there. You need so many sticks to make these upgrades because, let's say, recipe. There's the sticks for that and then then you need sticks for the next for the void upgrades and then sticks 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 you need so many sticks it's just amazing i use thousands of sticks just to make a, a good set of um uh upgrades for the drawers so it gets pulled out of here and if i want to blend let's say if i want to do some iron and nickel i can just pull those three out go like this Pop that there, there, and there. And then I've got an invar blend, and I can just pop it back in there. If I want silver and gold, I can do that as well. Let's see if there's some... Uh... Oh, these are all done. So this is the... This is, this is kind of interesting. I probably should have like a second chest here for an overflow. There we go. 
and that's why I I put them in by hand right now because I still want to do I want to have access to um what do you call it uh the ability to make blends and once I why did why is there ta pa packing tape there I think sometimes I just it, it just automatically or accidentally um picks up picks stuff up like that and what is that no must be oh it's cooking stuff down over there and instead of having to run over there to pick it up it's all right there and let's find out this was right here i think very interesting somehow it picked it up so we're in good shape there good shape there that's all gone now the uh pulverizer system the tree system um i'm still making clay here and uh cobblestone but it's been reduced to just this and once i get this popped into there we're in pretty good shape i don't know why i moved the cobblestone away but um we're in better shape let's take a look at what i did with this those were all sitting back there doing their things well i moved that those are so nice look at all those another level so we've got this and this here we go there's the uh, production I'm probably <laughs> gonna end up having to move that up a level again I keep on moving it into the light but this system was uh, pretty nice a little loud in here because it's a bunch of pulverizers going on we have the coal generators being fed with coal and I can always expand these on this side so it's um really easy to do. I just put another row of um uh coal generators right here and that power comes out the back and it goes all the way down the line and it can actually turn the corner if I need to. So the first one and I put little uh, notes on these. This is where um cobblestone comes in and you, you can see that it feeds that one and all those. So all those cobblestone are turning it into um, gravel and then it's being fed into the triple gray system it's not backing up that's a good thing backing up into the triple gray system we have just enough power it's been kind of floating around there I probably could use one more to start topping these machines off but right now it's sustaining power so the triple the cobblestone into gravel is right here. All these make gravel, they get sent into this. This one, and only this one, makes um, gravel and then also sand. And what I've done is the configuration, it, it, put, it pump because this is a byproduct of sand, the sand gets put in here along with the gravel in this case they're all pulled out the bottom but this one i wanted to turn the gravel that's get gets made into sand and gets pumped out the bottom so this one makes sand these all make gravel and everything gets put into the triple gray system over here is a more um chain effect it gets pu pushed the gravel gets pushed into this one. The gravel then gets turned into sand and pushed into this one. The gravel gets, uh, the sand gets turned into dust, and pushed out the bottom. So it goes gravel, sand, dust, pushed out the bottom. I'll probably need another one of these three set up to make more sand as well. Because, or I'm sorry, dust, because dust, I'm not getting too much of that. And we can see the results of what I'm getting because it all gets sent into the triple uh, gray right over here so it's kind of neat um this is a very expandable system and it just goes around i can make more and more power very easily the, these things are pretty cheap to make and easy really actually and let's go see where it gets sent it gets sent to my sifting room which is beautiful so sifting room there's the triple it gets sent into with an item filter this way, 
gravel into this one. Okay. Sand into that one. And dust. This one, if it fills up and it can't go in there, it gets sent down to the overflow. But there's no overflow yet. Let's see how the dust, that's going to be in my, that's going to be my top thing to do is to go over there and make um, a, a, a duplicate of that other system, which requires, I'll put another five coal generators down and we'll have to go that route just to, you know, have the five coal generators working and double my dust production. So I want this to be much faster. But you notice I'm not over there put, putting things, uh, pulling things in, putting it out, uh, taking, and then running over here. So if I want to just uh, do up some sand, I can just grab the sand right here, grab as much as I want, a full, I could, if you really wanted to, you could do a whole full inventory and just right click on here. Everything gets sent. And if I stand my back this way, the overflow of stuff that gets shot out, like those Certus Quartz, seem to do that quite a bit, unless I had some kind of magnet. And it's just beautiful. But what happens is they usually pop up right behind you. If you got a wall, they just stand right here. So there's one, there's a couple of these other ones. And then I have the input chest right there. So it's very handy. Once I automate this, um, oops, I'll just leave it there, no big deal. And it's really nice. Let's go find out how many um, diamonds I'm up to, because I need like, I don't know, 240 or 300, I, I think. 69 diamonds. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of gravel. Um, and I have tons of gravel, which is good. So more dust, more gravel, or more dust production, and then just really get these up so that I, it, so that when I do sift, if I decide to, to sift, it's just this way. It's four times faster. It just blows through tons of it really quick. Boom, put it in there. It, it'll be really easy. So I think that's uh, what we've done. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, I got rid of this system. So it's down to just the uh, blaze mesh, which is tons. And if I want to put, if I'm, you know, if I'm running low on cobblestone, I just put that in there and make more cobblestone. Just go right back to it. But I probably will put this system in its own little room, you know, a cobblestone production area. I like having rooms for each thing and where I can just kind of make it and forget about it. Um, that's the way I want to, you know, it. it does its own thing, feeds in it. I don't have to worry about that part of the system again. So we're in good shape. Um, coal generation, more coal or coal generators, five more of those. Duplicate that system over there, easy to do. And, uh, and work on that. Let's take a look at the quests. Lock that and quest lines. Oh boy. Alpha. How do we get into here? What the? A regular arrow. Oh, we do have, um, we can make the hunting dimension because I have feathers. So we can make some arrows and go in there. Now the thing is, I want to, I really want to have a shuriken before I go in there. So maybe make a shuriken and go in there that way. Uh, the hunting dimension, right click on the portal with the, frame with a sword in your hand, then shift shift to go to the dimension. Right click, a dimension just in case mobs aren't trying to, maybe I'll take a, um, a, a scroll that allows me to come back from there. And what do I get in the hunting? There must, just in case mobs aren't trying to spawn in the overworld. Hmm, hunting dimension. We'll make it, I guess. Uh, the carrot thing, that's a, that, that seems to be, like, look at this. Carrot, carrot. Just weird stuff. How do I make, uh, removes potion effects. I, 
I, yeah, I don't know anything about these things. I'd have to I'd have to learn about that whole system. I, I've never you know I've never messed with the carrot. And then you'd get these. What's the um recipe on that? Iron block. I could easily just uh, do uh, yeah I could just pop those out, turn those into iron. So for the next tier, because I've got so much iron, and that'll double the production of um, cobblestone. But we're not out of cobblestone yet, so there's no rush on that. But then it could, uh, at least it'll make the um, the next tier, then a the diamond tier. Oh, I can't unlock it yet. The nether, and we're almost done. What is this one? A furnace upgrade? Oh boy. Efficiency. Speed upgrades. I make the, what the? Blaze quartz. Oh, that's doable, <laughs> oddly enough. Blank upgrade. So I can knock out these upgrades and only get five RAK. So I kind of want to do that. I want to knock those things out. That'll be a list of things to do. Interesting. Nether. Oh, boy. How do you make these cakes? I don't have a chicken. I can, I've got sugar. I've got a cow that I can milk. But I don't have, oh, oh, a base cake, flour, alloy smelter, void ingot, dawn. There's so many things, molten dawn storm. Where, how do you make it? I don't know. Mixing recipe? Oh my god, a mixer. Gold, copper, molten dawn stone. Wow, that's mean. <laughs> How do you make dawn stone? So that's another, th you know, there's so many little tricks and things. I don't know why I can't get a chicken to spawn. Maybe I'll make a little uh, spawner spot over there with some grass on it to hopefully get the, uh, <laughs> or, or better yet, uh, I always jump on the lights. Uh, better yet, go in here and replace, uh, just put grass over there. I might do that. I'll just put some grass over there with some grass seeds, and then I'll grow the grass and have the lights on and then see what spawns over there because it's already set up. Just break out some of the, uh, yeah, it's already set up and ready to go. That's what I'll do. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go up to the top and sign off so that we do have a plan for the future of things to do and that's just it's just a tip of the iceberg i mean all of a sudden i have to find i got to get chickens for an egg i mean really just so that i can get the nether cake so i can make that so i can unlock the uh quest for it even though we can get to the nether the other way oh wow i wonder where it would send me in the nether and how do i get back i'd like i don't want to get sent there and then no way back so maybe bring um those home portals and then test one out over there go into the nether over there and then test it out to see if it'll port me back to my spawn point up here it should that'd be interesting all right guys beautiful night time so i'll wrap this up and we'll see what goes on have a good one enjoy this is this this is getting to be a pretty big 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 project project goes on. Have a good one, guys.